Right, so, next video, it is the Peerless Assassin All Black CPU Cooler versus the Phantom Spirit 120. So, what we're going to do first is have a look at the differences in the coolers, then we'll get directly into the thermal benchmarks. So, continue to watch. Okay then, so, this is the actual differences between the Phantom Spirit and the Peerless Assassin. One, Peerless Assassin is actually larger, it's a lot taller, as you can see. It's a lot taller in height and it is a little bit thicker as in the fin density well it looks exactly the same to the eye but this has seven heat pipes this has six and of course the fans are exactly the same speed 1500 and overall the most popular one out of the both is the PLS assassin I've covered the PLS assassin before I've done it against the not to a redux cooler and i've also reviewed the peerless assassin make sure to go check those videos out by here but overall the overall differences the fin density is very similar but the peerless assassin is actually larger so let's get directly into the thermals and we will check to see if you guys should buy the phantom spirit or the peerless assassin so continue to watch Okay, so, tender thermal benchmarks. Now, the first one I did was for the PLS Assassin. Remember, it's overall larger, but it's got one less heat pipe, and that's pretty much the differences. So, for a Cinebench R23 run, I did do this with a 5600G with PBO enabled. The idles were 33 Celsius, the max was a 62 Celsius. I also did Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius, the max was a, a 59 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were a little bit lower, so they were 30 Celsius, and the max was a 59. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 33 Celsius, and the max was a 54 Celsius. Next is the Phantom Spirit SE120. This time it's for Cinebench R23. Exactly the same setup. I, idles were a little bit lower. Actually, 2 degree lower. So it was 31 Celsius. The max was 62. No difference whatsoever when it comes to the max. Blender Classroom. The idles were actually lowered again at 31. So there was another 3 degree difference, sorry and the idols were 31 the max was a 58 celsius blender class uh, blender bmw the idols were higher on this the idols are 34 the max was a 59 celsius and the 3d mark cpu test the idols were 33 so they were exactly the same but the max was a 53 celsius which was a degree over the plus assassin so that's done for the benchmarks let's get back into the rest of the video Okay, see the benchmark results. Now, which one's the best? Well, both of them. They're both exactly the same. Yes, the Phantom Spirit does have an extra heat pipe, but in this scenario, that did not mean anything. So, when it comes to my benchmark testing, I do all the thermal runs, then I jot them down on my tablet as notes. So, if anyone actually says, like I had a comment on the... Uh, Frost Commander review saying that my numbers were pointless. Well, they weren't because I've got all the Benchmark results the thermals all down on my tablet, which that is what I use to do my results So if you think my videos or my results are actually pointless, they aren't I'm not gonna sit here and put you guys through a 20 minute video of me doing benchmarks it's not going to be something you guys are interested in. You just want to know the results and then move on. So let's continue. Both of them, fantastic air coolers, but the PLS Assassin is the most popular. Of course, it's the first, it's one of the first CPU coolers I received off Thermalright. I received the ARGB version, the white, which is very, very gorgeous. But what I will say is the all black version is absolutely stunning. Look at it. Oh, it's got like an error of premium on it. Now, of course, Thermal Right, they're trying to become like Noctua. And of course, I've got a Noctua product here. And of course, they are higher quality. But 
so I'm right to definitely get in there. So, I hope this video made this decision easy for you, which air cooler to go for. Personally, I would go with the Peerless Assassin because it's the best one for the price. So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.